Anyways, um... Oh, the battery pack fault. Yep, sure did. <laughs> I keep telling myself every week, oh, I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> it's still just like a half-assed thing. It's on 22, and we have 22 viewers right now. Oh, man, this is this is prophetic. Does that mean I should... Uh, should I put it over here? <laughs> and, and make the show better? Is it... Does this work? The first spin is actually going to be for what I call the, the, the big prizes. The prize box that actually goes up to 24. Because I realized that we haven't done that in forever. We have not done it since we came back on the air. And for the last few weeks up like in like 2017 prior to Harvey we uh we didn't do it either so I'm gonna show some love to the big prize box here we go oh that makes us a horrible sound I gotta fix that fucking hurricanes goddamn roofs oh 23 <laughs> okay <laughs> Jay Harms, I'm sorry, not Jay Harms, Electric Sheep City, it knows, it knows you're watching. It's, <sighs> I wish, I hope there's something good inside number 23, I don't know what it is. Normally, if it lands on 23 when we spin for trading cards, that just means I get to pick whatever I want out of the thing. Uh, <laughs> so, inside number 23 in the big prize box, uh, <laughs> it's some shit that I know nothing about. I know nothing about this. It's a booster set of series one of Yokai Watch, which, as I understand, was a cartoon that is already past its prime. Nobody gives a shit about Yokai Watch anymore. Uh, it was a cartoon. I'm probably on Cartoon Network, is this my guess? There was a game. I I think. He's got. He's wearing a watch, right? And it, let me let me zoom in on this. He's got a little watch on. This is like the Ben 10 watch or whatever. And then there's these little monster discs that you put in the watch. And when you when you space ghost it, you either turn into that monster or you summon that monster. Or it's Ben 10 meets Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Regular magical unicorn. This is marked ages four plus. Are you, you sure I can handle it? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm only 30 fucking years old. So I realize I'm nowhere near the target age group for this product. Uh, I, I don't even know. Uh, I don't know what it is. So I, I, there's three of them in here. This is from the first series. So they, they've got to be worth money. They've got to be rare because the only things that are ever worth money in terms of collectibles are the ones from the original set. See also Pokemon cards. Hashtag sorry not sorry. Don't at me. <laughs> Fandramon. The game is shit. I played the demo. I'm not surprised. Okay. Here it is. Oh, they're all... Well, so they're in a smaller bag inside the bigger bag. Okay. This one is... Um... I mean... It's not going to focus on that because it's a little bit too racist. There we go. There we go. Yeah. I, um... Is that a... Is that a... Asian chibi caricature who's pulling a rickshaw full of like potatoes or something that's what it looks like I don't know there's no English on it that text on the red is not English it's some kind of symbol um, on the back there is a QR code and these little ridges which I'm assume I'm assuming these function similar to uh, those uh, those little those music boxes that they used to make back in like the 60s and 70s that had records that you could play, but they were at, they weren't really records. They were just mechanical discs that had little things on it, and whichever ones were pushed down, that kind of determined what song was going to play. Pixel Hat says they are called Yokai Metals, and they can be used on the 3DS game. I don't have a QR code reader for my phone. Actually, how hard would it be to obtain a QR code reader for my phone? Because I don't. I, Let's go to the Google Play Store real quick. <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot of apps for it. So I'm just going to click the first one, like any old dumbass. The one with the most downloads, because that seems trustworthy. And if there was a problem, uh, I feel like somebody would have reported it. Okay. 
just okay what's that say Hat <laughs> okay first of all first of all when I scanned it it scanned the QR code it beeped it sounded like I bought some groceries obviously it's a free app it's a, it's supported by advertisements so that's how the person who made it gets paid inside the QR code app is an ad for a different QR code reader I don't think that's not the people don't know their fucking audience it's a it's a link hasbro.com forward slash YW which I'm assuming stands for yokai watch forward slash it then it looks like a like a random eBay listing so I'm just gonna click that link and let's see okay <laughs> At first, at first I thought this fucked up Mr. Potato Head was a, uh, I thought it was a yokai monster. I'm like, okay, oh uh, yeah. Uh, actually this is the 404 page for Hasbro.com. So whatever this fucking stupid thing went to, uh, does not exist anymore. That's precisely why, uh, online enabled content for games and collectibles is fucking stupid. Now, I don't mean to sound like a piece of shit. I don't mean to sound like a, like a bit of a snob, but, but, all the things that I got to collect when I was a kid, like Pokemon cards and Pogs, of which this probably is a better reference because this looks like a shitty Pog, um, those did not require me to have a, a connection to the internet to use, and it was also not reliant upon the fact that the destination that this thing tries to connect to always exists because if there's one thing we've learned from the past 20 plus years of the internet being online is that ain't nothing exists forever on the fucking internet okay that goes the arrow points down okay next yokai what even is this is it, just focus don't don't give me any bullshit camera there, what, what even is this there's like hands Oh, it's upside down. The arrow points up. Fuck, I'm stupid. Okay, because there's a little head at the top. Look. Oh, shit. This one is... Look at that. This one's flashy. This one's hol... This one must be rare. It's holographic. It's got uh, orange instead of red. I don't know what that means. I guess when we check the little... When we consult the sheet, we'll find out. Um, I don't know what it is. It looks like a snow monster. It looks dumb as hell. Like I, I really feel like the original set of Pokemon and then a little bit into the second generation where they, they kind of recycled ideas that they didn't that Ken Sugimori didn't really get to use uh, that is kind of the gold standard in monster uh, monster design because every other thing that kind of came after that has clearly tried to ape the same look and feel and nobody's ever come fucking close. This is a complete example. All these monsters are not attractive in the least bit. They look dumb as shit. Um, these are, uh... So they, they have types. This is... I think they're types. I thought this said fighting, but this actually says tough. Uh, which in Spanish is robusto. And, um... Any of the ones we... Oh, wait, no, wait. We did get an orange one. So the snow... The abominable snowman down there... That's, that, that's in this section. So that's what the color means. It's their type. It's not their rarity. Uh, and then, I thought that, like I said, I thought that was fighting and it's not fighting. Because then down here we have uh, Shady. Uh, the Will the Reels. There's only, and there's two. So will, will, will the real Shady please stand up? <laughs> what year is it? There's that. Now, uh... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> green, green Dragon Lover. <laughs> the yokai are specifically based on Japanese mythology things. Not saying the designs are better or anything, but just a random fact. <laughs> so like, I'm just shit talking like random, just random cultural mythology. This show, that's just me. That's me being a white, a uh, fucking white male, ain't it? Proud to be an American. Two, two terms, two scoops, two hands to drink out from a bottle of Fiji water. Woo! All right. <laughs> Demonic Void uh, said. And it doesn't really matter which one I'm showing off. But if I take this coin and I turn it 90 degrees this way, uh-oh, it's Goatsy. <laughs> Actually, it'd probably be more better if I did it with the one that's red in the middle. There, now it's, now it's Goatsy. Yokai Goatsy. I could put this on my watch and be like, boom! Ooh, look at that. Now I got a big butthole. All right. <laughs>